Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, the reaction to the finale of Doctor Who has been pretty terrible. Pretty much everyone hates it because Ruby's mother, who was teased throughout the latest season of Doctor Who as a mysterious, you know, sort of haunting figure with a hood, uh, this sort of enigmatic force. Oh, it's going to be this really big thing. No, it was nobody. Just a normal woman. So the response on Twitter has been insane, so much so that mainstream media has started to produce articles, like The Independent's got an article on it. There'll be more, obviously. Uh, so I thought we'd take a look at some of the response, because these are the people that you needed to please. And they weren't pleased. They were not pleased. But it goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, that the likes of Doctor Who, uh, RTD, retarded, he's not a good writer. He's not a good writer at all. And that's important to remember. Okay, stop hiring him for things. He's a bad, bad writer. So hit subscribe, turn the bell notifications on, and let's take a look at some of the response. Literally, just search Doctor Who and you'll see. Doctor Who fans all over the country the minute pictures of a completely normal woman came up on the screen. It's just, yeah, literally just that. Good times. And you'll see, you'll start to see just how creatively bankrupt retard Ed is. Out here, naming our future children. Literally just a person wearing a hood and pointing at stuff. Why? Because Ruby is called Ruby because there's a road called Ruby Road. The two best stories of series 14 weren't from the showrunner. Yup. This is what you're doing with uh, Doctor Who money. Doing this crap. Good times. Uh, again, here you go. I'm sorry, but I really hated this. It's really dumb. The F you mean that she was pointing at the sign to name her daughter. We're in J.J. Abrams level subversion of expectations here. When are we going to get good writers again? Like people that can actually write. This is terrible writing. Uh, Russell T. Davies, when I tell him I'd like to know why Ruby's 15-year-old mum was roaming the streets in a cloak from the traitors on Christmas Eve. Yeah. Where'd she get a cloak from? Who wears cloaks like this? No one. Obviously. This is exactly the same principle as Snoke. Do you remember Snoke? Great promise. Just nothing delivered on at all. This, nothing delivered on at all. If you watch Emperor Death Unleashed, then go straight into Unleashed Unseen, you see this clip of Shooty losing it to the TARDIS jukebox, having the classic Who theme three times in five minutes. Good times. No thanks. Me, anytime Mrs. Flood is on screen. Ugh. How I felt after that Doctor Who. Yeah. Is this it? Is this it? Yeah. Sutek uh, defeated underwhelmingly. Entire chunks of the series episode not making any sense under the smallest bit of scrutiny. Not giving the two main actors enough episodes to properly develop prioritising content over real characters. Good. Just what people want. Ruby's mum naming her. <laughs> this is so pathetic. Uh, world enough and time the Doctor falls, you will forever be the gold standard of Doctor Who finales. No one is ever topping you. Ah, right, okay. Where, it, where is a 15-year-old mum getting this traitor's ass... Traitor's is a show in the UK. Traitor's ass cloak from Doctor Who. Like, seriously? Mrs. Flood dressing up as different companions and also referencing them. Good, good times. What is this show, honestly? We bring life to the whole flipping universe. What were your fav fav favourite moments? Let's have a look and see what the comments are, right? Let's see what they're saying. <laughs> when I turned my TV off. Uh, Ruby finding her mother a memory of TARDIS. 
Having 11 river parts at good times. When it ended. Christ. Uh, I found the ending so underwhelming. Doctor Who will never be the same, unfortunately. My favourite moment was when we saw a second of the tomb of Rassilion. Rassilon from the five Doctors. Didn't really care for anything else. It's bad, isn't it? Ugh. An episode so bad, even the usual Twitter sycophants won't defend it. What a disaster. Yeah, pretty bad. Pretty bad. Shall we post something on here? Follow me on Twitter at Mr. H Reviews. Uh, I'll do that later. Follow me to see what I say. This might be the... F oh, God, this is so bad. So genuinely bad. Let's have a look what the latest is. Just everyone hates it. Underwhelming. You can't end like that. It's not... It's just bad. Bad, bad, bad. I know many will say that Doctor Who is about time-travelling alien. A ship that's bigger on the inside, blah, blah, blah. But I contend that stories will be unsatisfying if they don't make sense on their own terms. Yeah, exactly. What annoyed me more was the sense that this Doctor Who story didn't feed... The, feel the need to make sense on its own terms. So the memory TARDIS appears out of almost nowhere and is justified by saying memory is a time machine. That's basically magic. Good times. God, how bad is this? Bunch of absolute shite. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, people hate this. Absolute garbage. So yeah, people not very particularly happy. I do wonder, that will probably affect the special, won't it? The the Christmas special. Will be really bad. It's funny because TV Zone's here saying, BBC to dominate Christmas viewing with returning favourites. You think? Ah, this Doctor's not a favourite, guys. Not a favourite at all. You're speaking too soon there. There's something about RTD's approach to plotting that I can't get past. He's magnificent in many other ways. But the, just go with it way things happen makes it hard to fully embrace a story. His plots punish you for trying to understand them. That's called a bad writer. She was pointing, so it was a signpost. She was naming you. Fuck's sake. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. <sighs> now this is the Doctor Who twist I wanted to see. Basic slag road. Basic slag road. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Anyway, I like this stuff. This is very, very funny. There's really, I mean, there's not much else to say. Just people hate it. Why? Why did they, why, why? Why did they just, why did, why did anyone at the BBC green like this? Why did anyone think this was going to be good? Remember, all the ratings peak at the end of a well they they go up a little bit at the end of a season but i wonder how many people seeing as they've gone down and down and down and down throughout the season whether how many people will come back for next season now now they know that this is the level of payoff you get i doubt it'll be many let me know what you think i'd genuinely be curious to hear anyway thanks so much hit subscribe if you're new here give the video a like support via patreon it's the first link down below can we keep the lights on demonetize and all that stuff Cheers. Bye now.